hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel we actually have several updates on what is happening cut across uh southeast and south south old eastern region as a whole the stadium order was given by ipob indigenous people of biafra and made public by Ima powerful of course mazanam the Kano's brother countered it uh, it, be, it gave a lot of issues here and there but eventually we were just wondering keeping our fingers crossed how would it look like don't forget that the southeastern governors and the elders generally southeastern elders also you know you know gave their own standpoint on the system order saying it will not hold and that various individuals indigenous from various you know uh, from various localities should go about their duties that that monday of a uh, ghost monday will not hold let's take a, 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 a an overview of some of the states we're looking at a bony looking at um anambra we we'll also look at um we we'll also look at look at river state and the at the general enugu as well and the general level of compliance we will start uh, we'll start with um we'll start with enugu they will move down to Ebony, they'll move down to um Anambra. We will move that to Enugu, then Anambra. But before we do all this so much more, like you subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you'll see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Amongst all the states, Anambra actually was where a lot of you know climbing down went. Okay, but let's start with um, Enugu. In Enugu, there was almost Total 100%, you know, compliance. There was indeed a lockdown there. There was no movement. If you move down there as at today, as at 7 a.m. and uh, later on in the day, it was a case of if you must move, you must please move on with your leg of this man. Because there was no vehicles. People were busy trekking. The children uh, literally took to the street to play football. You know those days uh, whenever they're having this um, Saturday uh, or, or anytime they're having general cleanup, you see the road will be free for boys to play football. This is exactly what happened in some parts of Enugu, especially the cities, the busiest part of Enugu state in, in Enugu, you know, were literally empty. For Ebony State, there was a bit of partial one, you know, so banks were opened, but um, there were really no customers much to patronize them. Everybody was actually fearing for their head. And for some of the schools, like in that Ogoja Road in a, a capital city of Obonyi. Um, some schools were open, but the people that were there, the students that were there were actually students writing uh, the exams, the NECO exams that, you know, prompted the uh, the, uh, the brother of Mazen and the Kano to want to shift the sit-at-home order. But in all in all, we could see bikes moving here and there. We could see um, uh, Keke, you know, tricycle moving here and there, but no serious major movement. People were moving with just a few trekking here and there, but the road usually used to be very busy, but it was very, very scanty. I guess people were just scared, you know, they literally obeyed it. You could call it 80% compliance, but definitely not 100%, like in the, the city of Enugu e e State. But for Anambra, Anambra was lit, very a lot of activities went down. No one was going to give the full details. Let's start with how it all went down. Two people actually went down. Well, the sit at home, the sit at home order directed by IPOB earlier Monday got bloody in a Newi with two people losing their lives in a confrontation between the army and suspected members of IPOB. The unfortunate incident happened at Izuchuku Junction area of the Newi roundabout, according to an eyewitness who alleged that the dead. The dead person was actually the leader of IPOB alongside commercial motorcyclists. Vanguard actually gathered, gathered that the problem started about 7 a.m. when some IPOB members allegedly came out to enforce the sit-at-home order and in the process blockage, blockages were made at the major roads in the industrial town. Some unidentified soldiers were said to have rushed to the area to clear the items used to block the roads. And in the process, an altercation ensued between them and IPB members, leading to the soldiers opening fire on them. The eyewitness said that the two victims were actually brought down by arms from the unidentified soldiers who quickly took off immediately after they fell to their arms however another source told vanguard that the two people killed were actually commercial motorcyclists who came out for brisk business but were sighted near the blockage but on the road okay they were sighted near the blockade put on the road by the soldiers who started questioning them on why the road was blocked and following 
and following just exchange of words with the soldiers they were shot and who and the this arms men who hurriedly left the scene meanwhile that means there are two sides to the story some witnesses said it was IPB members another witness said no it's not IPB members it's actually Nigerian security forces so who do we believe but because at the, at the time of filing the report we didn't see anybody there was nobody there so I guess some persons were actually you know t narrating what they saw from a distance okay so, well meanwhile the industrial town has been reduced to a ghost town as the people who actually who initially came out to survey the level of compliance to know if they could open for their daily business, rushed back home to save their lives. Some vehicles were also smashed by a group persons over the attack on the civilians by these armed men. However, a combined team of security agencies, as at the time of filing this report, later stormed the town to disperse the protesters who gathered in protest against the killing of civilians by the soldiers. It will be recalled that IPB one resident of the state against coming out of their homes following an alleged plan by the military to attack people and branding the IPOB and Eastern Security Network ESM members. The Police Public Relations Officer PPRO for Anambra State Command, that's Mr. Tochuku Ikenga, could not be reached to confirm the death. Now, if you ask me personal opinion, if they say sit at home, just let's look at this thing critically. The government say, come out, we'll protect you. There's nothing like that. Who is IPOB to give all that kind of order? It is the government that rules that they're not IPOB. IPB says sit at home so that no evil or no bad thing will happen to you in honor of their leader, Mazin Namdekano. And you want to come out. You look out left, right, and center. There's no security person to guard your life. Are you not going to use your head? Is it everything that they will give you as a paper and writing? If you look outside, you see... The government, some of this is what we are talking about. If the government said, come out, if you don't come to work, we will not give you August salary. Eh, no problem. She is only August salary and I will leave. Because if I come out and I'm trying to get a taxi and I don't see a taxi and something happens to me, she is who is alive that will eat salary of August? Abby, if you're not alive, they will replace, that job vacancy will be replaced before the month runs out, somebody has to replace you. Now, usually, in things like this, because of security in security breach or security breach like this, it is expected that the chief security officer should take charge of the state by adequately protecting the lives and property of the people. So if they are coming out and they are not sure that their, their heads will be safe, why come out? This is just my personal opinion. I believe that your life first. If you come out and the, the area is not looking safe, go back. One day won't kill you. This is not the fight between citizens. Is a quarter between IPOB and the state government. Don't let, don't be the one that will settle that quarter. Shift your head first. They say stay at home. The government say come out. You check outside. There's no security to secure that. If you go outside, you'll be safe. Stay back at home. Personal opinion, no. Because if you leave, you can tell the story. If you go out there and something happens, okay, those who stay back at home, tomorrow they go to work. Okay, they will not pay them their month salary. But remember, one of the cardinal rules of governance is to protect life and property. So if they're not sure of their life, why should they come out?